Hello everyone. As a beginner don't worry anymore. If you find difficulties choosing what to buy and what to avoid in the master blacksmith dealing with weekly limited silver and gold pieces cause in this tutorial I'm gonna try as possible as I can to make things clear and easier for you. Starting with recognizing which objects are worth buying. Moving to classifying them in three levels of priority that may help you to progress faster in the game. So sit back relax and enjoy the show. Let's go! Starting with silver pieces, make sure that you never turn your silver pieces into gold ones as your first priority. You need to get all these events tools in order to be active during the week and avoid spending pieces on expensive or unnecessary ones. Personally, I play glory events using only Horsedale standards from the Nomad shop. Then, make sure that your VIP bonus is always activated and try to shop for some extra points to upgrade its level. As your second priority, try to get the maximum of arrow slits, cause you're gonna use them a lot defending con attacks during nomad event and if it is possible you can shop 500 of each defense tool every week if you haven't unlocked the new generation defensive tools yet then buy tickets but you need at least 1.2k tickets to be placed in top 250 during the nobility contest in order to get extra gold and silver pieces so that gonna take you two weeks to reach that as your third priority you can spend the rest of your silver pieces on build item boosters but buy only the legendary ones because it is easy to get epic and rare ones and if it is necessary you can buy some material sacks to make build items such as the recruitment cost build item. Moving to gold pieces, at first make sure to have the wall capacity build item. Then as your second priority if you are under level 650 you need to have a relic bakery in each of your castles and finally you can shop districts to free up more space for decorations in your castle but it is better to start with the trade district than the military and the inner one and don't forget to shop shield walls and other attacks tools. It's useless to waste your gold pieces on equipments or food build items if you haven't completed the previous listed objects. Moving to seats, don't spend them on Master Blacksmith Shop, just go and complete your Hall of Legends. My recommendation for the Ice Championship Shop are to make sure at first to get the 10 Affluence tickets every week then you can buy the Winter Brew skin, it's pretty good, giving you 5% more unit limit on the castle wall. If I didn't list any other objects, that means they are not worth buying. I just wanted to take a moment to remind you to fill out these surveys available in the dedicated community section. Your feedback is really important to me, as it helps me understand what you like and how I can improve the channel. So, don't forget to take a few moments to share your thoughts and opinions. Thanks in advance for your participation and stay tuned for even more exciting content.